all right guys welcome back so in this video and in the next couple of videos we'll be learning about kiwi basics before we go on to learning kiwi md which is used to build beautiful and material design based apps mobile apps like android and for ios so before we do that we need to cover some basic topics of kiwi so that when we go on to learning kiwi md we can make sure that we understand over there properly because a lot of things of kiwi are connected to kiwi md so before we get started let's just make sure that everything is properly installed so in python you can just download the latest version or you can download the 3.7 which is the version that i'm going to be using so if you want to follow along you can just download the python 3.7 version and then i'm going to be using the community version of pycharm which you can get from jetbrains.com pycharm and then download and then just download the community version and that is what i'm going to be using after you download it and open it up it's going to look somewhat like this so what i want you guys to do is go to file create a new project and then just name the project whatever you want i have called my project as kiwi basics so if you want to follow along you can just call it kiwi basics as well so you can just type the name over here of your project and it's going to create it for you and then over here in new virtual environment just choose the python version that you are going to be using so if you just scroll it down you can see there are different python versions if you are using python 3.8 just select the version that you are using and then just click on create and this will create a new python project and then just right click on it click on a new python file and then just write down the name of the file that we want to create and i'll just create a main python file so i'm just going to write main over here and then when you press enter this file will be created and then you have to make sure that the kiwi is properly installed so just go to settings and python interpreter and make sure there's an interpreter over here as you can see my python version is python 3.7 over here and if nothing is selected over here just go to show all and then choose the python version that you have and then to install kiwi just click on this plus icon and just type in kiwi and then you have to make sure that all of these blues that you are seeing over here are installed that is this kiwi kiwi depths angle depths glue depths g streamer and sdl2 so make sure these four things are installed and after installing them you can just come over here and to test whether kiwi is working or not you can just write import kiwi and if this doesn't show any error that means kiwi is installed properly now let's just create our first kiwi application to do that we're just going to write from kiwi.app because we'll be creating our app and we're just going to import in capital a app so we are basically inheriting this functionality of app that has been created by kiwi for us so now we just need to create a class that will inherit the functionalities of this app class that we got from kiwi so we're just going to write class main app you can just call this whatever you want but i'm just going to call this main app and it inherits the functionality of this app class and inside this what we are going to do is we are just going to create another method over here and not another method this is the first method we are creating and this method is called build so first we create our app and then we need to build our app that's why we create a new method over here called build and inside this what we are going to do is we are going to add a text or a label so what we need to do is from over here we need to import something known as a label from inside kiwi so we are just going to write from kiwi dot ui ux so this contains all the widgets and different elements like buttons labels and different kind of widgets like color picker whatever you want and you can just as you can see there is an example of checkbox dot image text import so you can import all the user interface functionalities from this kiwi dot ui x package so what we're going to do is because we want a label right now just a simple text so we're just going to write dot label and then we are going to import in capital l this label class so what we are going to do is inside this we are going to create a variable of label you can call this whatever you want i'm just going to call it label and to create that label or text in capital l you need to write this and then inside this it needs a parameter of text so this is the text that will be shown on the screen so i'm just going to write this is uh, batman and with an exclamation mark actually let's remove the exclamation mark because that's not in the spirit of batman so we are just going to create this variable of label and then we need to return the label. So what we are going to do is we're just going to write return label and that's pretty much it. So what we can do is on your keyboard, if you are using PyCharm, you can just press Ctrl, Alt and L and this will automatically format everything beautifully. And now we just need to run our main app. So first we build the app and then we create the class of the app and then lastly we need to run the app so to do that we just write main app and then we put the braces like or the brackets like this and we just write dot run and that's pretty much it so now let's just run this main.py file to see if it works 
and as you can see a pure text over here of this is batman and the black background is there so this kind of looks like a background of batman so anyways what we can do now to change is text size so right now this is pretty small to change its text size we are gonna add another parameter over here and we're just gonna call it font underscore size and inside these single quotes we are just gonna write the size of uh, our font so 20 sp this is basically sp is a format of pixels so uh, it's called as green pixels so you can just reload it and you'll be able to see that the size of our text has increased now you can do other things with this text for example make it bold to make it bold you can just write bold equals to true and we are going to run this again and you'll be able to see that our text has become bold you can also make it italics by writing comma italic equals to true and let's reload it and you will see that our text is a little bit slanted and now what we can also do is that we can change the background color of our window so currently our window is black in color so to change that we need to import something known as a window from kiwi so we're just going to write from kiwi.core so core is basically the fun main functionalities that are inside kiwi so we're just going to write dot core and we're going to import this window property from it and we're just going to write import and capital w we are going to import this window and to change the color of our window we're just going to write uh, window so in capital window dot clear screen so basically we are clearing our background color and making sure that it is brushed by uh, some other color so we're just going to write clear color equals to and then in brackets it requires the rgb values so currently i'm just going to put in one comma zero zero and then the last value is one so this is for opacity or transparency so this what will basically do is it will change it to red color so this is r this is a g this is blue so red green and blue so now let's just reload it and see if the background is of red color you can see the background is red because we have put in red as one now if we want it to be green we can just put it as one over here and then reload it and you can see that the background has become green so we won't delve into this a lot because we'll be covering this in more depth in the paint application that we have already created or we'll be creating in the future video series so we're not going to focus too much on this but because i wanted to show you the change of color in this label that is why i wanted to change the background screen so let's actually make the background white in color so let's reload it and see what color it is now it's black so to change it to white we are just going to put this as uh, one so let's just add one 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 over here let's reload it and the background has changed to white but as you can see that our text has disappeared because the text is still in white color and that is why you can't see it on the front of our white background to change the color of our label what we are going to do is i'm just going to press enter over here so that everything looks good and over here we are just going to add a color property so we are going to write color equals to and we're going to make this color as black so what we are going to do is we're just going to write 0 comma 0 comma 1 and we are going to put a comma at the end to make sure that everything is properly formatted and we're going to reload it and you'll be able to see that our text has become black so you can see our text has become black so you can also change it to red color if you want and reload it and uh, let's wait for it to work and you can see this is in red color all right guys so now you have a little bit of an idea of how to use uh, text and add labels to it change the colors so in the next video we are going to learn how to add buttons to our window so i'll see you over there